Do you want to come onto my lap? Okay. You can't see, but my cat's on my lap. Anyways. <laughs> Nicole welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing um, this year's predictions otherwise known as 2017 predictions I've got a few of them written on my notes and we're just gonna go through them and just a quick disclaimer before the video starts I don't want to I'm not I'm not stating that I am a psychic in any way I literally don't know when the weather is going to be like but it's gonna be bad weather or anything so don't assume that I just know everything and that all of this is 100% true um, don't go around and tell your friends like oh my god this is gonna happen this year like you just wait but if it does happen you know um, I'm like a 10 out of 10 youtuber and you should definitely subscribe so yeah writing me okay okay you don't deserve to be on here if you're gonna hurt me disrespect so Without further ado, let's get into 2017 predictions. Okay, so the first prediction I have is that Sam Smith is going to come out with a ton of new music this year. Um, and this might be his comeback year because if you haven't been paying attention, I mean, I don't think he has released any music ever since like he got famous. I feel personally that this might be his comeback year and I just think it's been a while and Maybe he'll, maybe he won't release an album, but a single, and it will become very, very popular. Another prediction in the music industry is that there is going to be new music from Justin Bieber late this year in the summertime or in late 2017, because he is due for another album. Purpose, amazing, needs a second. Like we need um more music, and he might drop it in the summertime because you know everyone's chilling or he might just drop it in November specifically, so yeah. The next prediction is quite sad actually, and if you're a Directioner, I um, I, I am sorry. I'm a Directioner too, so it's fine. Okay, so the prediction is that One Direction will not be coming back, but they will make their one last song together. This is because they're just going in all their different directions. They're going in like different directions career-wise and they have families and a life and a significant other if you're Liam Payne and you got a girl pregnant aka Cher I think that's what her name is I don't even remember I'm fake I'm sorry you know Niall is going to release his um, album this summer and Harry is going to be in a movie that comes out in July and just a ton of stuff is going on so there might not be a One Direction rejoice in July just just kind of hinting I don't know if it's gonna happen but. this next one is that the memes this year will be so horribly amazing and so far this has been true and um, honestly already the memes are starting to happen and they're so good the hollow holly weed meme is just already blooming it's blossoming blossoming so like it's gonna be they're gonna be so witty and funny memes always are witty and funny but like they're just gonna be especially good this year 2017 will be the year of jewelry specifically bracelets and earrings I don't know why I just like last year it's been chokers for like the past few years now but maybe this year um jewelry like I don't know bracelets and earrings and stuff might get popular too I mean there are bracelets and earrings that are popular but they'll just become more popular than they already are a very famous YouTuber might quit YouTube or get seriously injured. I don't have anyone in particular that I'm sending this message out to, but personally, I think there might be like a split again or like a YouTuber, a famous YouTuber might just like quit or get hurt. And actually this has happened because um, this one guy that jumps off from things, he got seriously injured and he broke both of his feet. So, maybe my prediction already happened. I don't know. Okay, the next one is kind of sad, but we will lose a very well-known celebrity and a very well-liked celebrity. Again, I just have to disclaim this every time I say something. Like, I'm not sure if this might actually happen, but if it does happen, you know who called it. You know who called it. This next one's kind of weird, but... There's going to be a huge Apple product release and Samsung is going to try to upscale them. 
like they always do, but yeah, I just think that's gonna happen this year. This one is a Kardashian slash Jenner might get pregnant this year. Who knows? I mean, that's always a given. One of them always gets pregnant. Like last year it was Black China, even though she's not a Kardashian or anything, but she was associated with one, so yeah. This one is probably given, but Trump is most likely going to start some sort of mini war. I don't know how you can start a mini war, but I feel like he would start something terrible. So we'll see how that goes. There is going to be a category for hurricane happening this year. I mean, last year, 2016, there was a category four, but then it kind of dissipated and turned into a category one. So we'll see. This is ma mainly geared towards Florida and, you know, lost like California, because, you know, they, the coasts of America always get a lot of hurricanes. It's weird, but mainly Florida, because, you know, we're just like the center of attention when it comes to hurricanes. Charlie Puth is probably going to make a song about the whole Bella Thorne and Tyler Posey situation. If you are unaware of that, basically, Tyler po ooh, Bella Thorne and Tyler Posey were together. It was like beautiful, it was like goals to the max. And then, I don't know what happened, but I guess they broke up, but they didn't really mention it publicly, I guess. And Bella Thorne was seen with Charlie Puth, but then allegedly Bella Thorne didn't break up with Tyler Posey and it was just a whole mix of emotions and things and Bella Thorne dyed her hair and she just, she really lost the spotlight 2016, I must say. So I feel like Charlie Puth is probably gonna write about that and make a song. The second season of Stranger Things that's real alliteration right there. It's going to be super hyped about, but it won't be as good as the first season. Think about it. Everyone is literally hoping that the second season of Stranger Things is like the best one and that it tops the first one. But to be honest, second seasons of shows aren't really always the best compared to the first season. Like they'll never own up to the first season. So that might ha that might be the case with Stranger Things. We don't know. Obama will go to Hawaii and visit his home island, which, if you were unaware of, it's Honolulu. Because, you know, Obama's gonna become a citizen this year, so he might just, like, chill in Hawaii for a few months. Who knows? And the last one, this is, like, I'm hoping this happens, because this would be awesome. But PewDiePie will most likely hit 70 million subscribers. Currently, he has, like, 51 million and counting. But he does gain a lot of subscribers, and if he's posting frequently and, you know, not saying he's going to quit YouTube, then it might most likely happen. So those are all of my 2017 predictions. Again, I'm not a psychic in any way, shape, or form, but if any of these things actually do happen, you know who called it. You know who said it first. January 2017, I said it first, alright? So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to add all my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. They're always linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my beautiful face in your subscription box every week. I post videos every week. So if you want to see me, just wait for the link to, to, to hit. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. And that's, that's that. 2017 predictions, that's a wrap.